Welcome to Airfield Estates. Uh, this is our winery and we uh, will be your host for today. I'm Marcus Miller, the winemaker for Airfield Estates. And, and I'm Mike, I'm his dad, and I, I'm the grower. So we are at the state uh, uh, winery and, and we grow all of our own uh, fruit. So We're glad you're going to be here for this virtual tour and we'll take you around, we'll show you production, we'll show you the wines, and uh, hope you enjoy it. So one thing that's different about us than other wineries is our history. Our history is that of an airbase, and uh, our winery, tasting room, is meant to look like an old, uh, the old hangers that are out on the farm. Uh, we're uh, uh, showing you right now how our, uh, our entrance to the winery, uh, our hangar doors, and uh, uh, makes for a great airy um, tasting opportunity. I'm standing in front of the centerpiece of our winery. It's a coffee table which actually was a briefing instrument that the military used back in 1942 when it was an air base. It shows the location of our farm and, and the uh, glide paths in and out of the air base. This is a picture of the air base in 1942, uh, shortly after it opened. Uh, this is what it looked like uh, before we took possession. This is a picture of some of the original flyers that were part of the, the air base. Uh, back in 42 to 44. Uh, very strong military presence. In 1944, they moved off site. Uh, we were able to move on in 1945. My grandfather purchased all these buildings, and so uh, we, uh, this created the, the base of operations for us for, and for our farm for the next 60 years. Well, you are currently in the tower room, so if you come this way, this is our wine library. All the wines you see in this room are no longer for sale. They're completely sold out. And so what we do here is we hold just a couple of cases of each of these wonderful wines in the, in the tower room. And from time to time, we open a bottle with wine club members or our customers and let them see and experience how those wines sitting in their cellar are aging. So we're excited uh, to have a room like this. Uh, we are also have small events for club members and for our customers and uh, just a great way to, to know what's going on with your past vintages. So right now you're in our cellar. This is where all the action happens during harvest and uh, throughout the year. And one of the things with our winery that sets us apart is we are very, very clean. Uh, currently my guys are uh, in the middle, middle of pressure washing the floor, uh, getting ready for harvest. And uh, you know, the, one of the tricks to great winemaking is having a spick and span cellar. One thing about your visit to Airfield Estates is you will never get bored. Uh, we make 22 different wines, all in, in different styles, featuring different varieties of grapes. Um, we use 26 here at the winery. So with such a big lineup, a lot of people wonder where to start at Airfield Estates. So I'm going to keep it real simple for you. I'm going to show you a couple of our wines that are a great launching point to experience Airfield Estates. The first wine we're going to taste and experience is uh, this wine. It is our Unoak Chardonnay. It is uh, just a wonderful representation to what we do here at Airfield Estates. Very crisp, very fruit forward, very lively, and uh, is a good place to start your Airfield Estates adventure. The other wine I'd like to highlight today on the red side is this one, our Bombshell Red. Now this is um, a red that has no boundaries. It is the wine I get to put whatever I want to put into it to make the best wine possible. And this is just a great daily drinker, very affordable, great way to start your Airfield Estates red wine experience. So I'm here with a glass of our Unoak Chardonnay. I wanted to just tell you a little bit more about it uh, for your first uh, white wine airfield experience. So this wine is um, unoaked. It is uh, completely done in stainless steel to showcase the fruit of the Chardonnay. And this vintage, um, on the nose you get a lot of citrus fruit. I, I call it lemon zest. Uh, just, just a really great um, fruity, fruit forward nose. Uh, then on the palate, when you take a drink, you get this great line and direction uh, and, and nice uh, acidity to complement whatever food you, you want to enjoy it with. I suggest um, fish and also chicken dishes uh, with some light sauces 
uh, as a great way to enjoy this with meal. And one of the things that I am most excited about this fall is our brand new bombshell, uh, our 2008 vintage. And um, the 07 had just tons of success. It got a 90 point in Wine Spectator. It received uh, an award as one of the top wines under $20 in Washington State. And just it was a wonderful wine. But not, I, I am the winemaker, but I think 08 blows the 07 away. So I'm, I'm so excited for our customers to try this, this new wine. Um, it's just very round, very full, ha just covers your whole mouth, your mouth. Um, has just tons of fruit and complexity on the nose, and has six varietals in this one wine. So we think people will really enjoy this a, a lot. So um, that's, that's what I recommend. Start with the unoaked Chardonnay and the bombshell and, and move on from there.